Good morning. I'm Pastor Tully here with my Wednesday morning message. And today we're going to talk about stoles. I'm not talking about the past tense of the word steel. Uh, I'm talking about these things here. A stole is a liturgical vestment. Uh, it's a garment worn by a priest or a pastor during a worship service. You know, liturgical vestment, that's just a really fancy word. Uh, there's just two things you need to know about stoles. Uh, number one, towels. And number two, colors. Uh, so the towel. Uh, in John 13, Jesus wraps a towel around himself uh, and then washes the disciples' feet. It's one of the last things he does before he's arrested and before he's crucified. Uh, and so the, the stole that pastors wear uh, is supposed to represent the towel that Jesus wore. I think it's kind of ironic that these really fancy garments with silk and different tassels all over them uh, that they're supposed to be representing the humble towel used for cleaning each other. Now, colors. You may have noticed that throughout the year, the colors that a pastor stole that he wears or that she wears, that they change throughout the year. If you, have a, if you sing in the choir, maybe your choir robes change color. Up at the front of the church, there'll be some cloths on the pulpit or on the communion table. Sometimes those change color throughout the year. So first, uh, there's purple. Purple is the color of waiting. This is what we use uh, in the weeks before Christmas, called Advent, and in the weeks before Easter, called Lent. It's the color of waiting, meaning we're getting ready for something. Uh, and then there's white. White is the color of celebration. So, of course, we use this on Christmas and Easter. Uh, and for both of those, Christmas and Easter, there's really a multi-day season that begins on Christmas Day and Easter Day and continues for a week or so. Uh, we also use white throughout the year for uh, seasons like Epiphany and Trinity Sunday and All Saints Day. White is often used for weddings as well. Uh, and then, of course, you get green. Green is probably the color you see the most. Green is used for the ordinary times of the year. Green, uh, like I said, it's the most common. There are 28, I think, Sundays out of a year that are green. Uh, it's about four or five weeks uh, in the winter. Uh, most of the summer, all of the summer usually, most of the fall, those times will be green. Uh, my favorite liturgical color is red, but you don't get to wear red very often. There's only one Sunday a year that is red, and that is Pentecost. Many churches, they everyone wears red on Pentecost. Now, of course, what I've described is the way Presbyterians do it. Uh, there's other traditions. You know, some churches use gold uh, or blue for Advent. Uh, some churches might use pink even. Uh, different traditions. Some traditions don't even have stoles. Um, now coming up, of course, we're getting close to Christmas season. Uh, in popular culture, Christmas has kind of already started. I know my neighbor, she put up her Christmas decorations already. She's got her tree up. She did that the day after Halloween. I think it's a little bit too soon. Um, but remember, um, the season is called Advent, and so that's the four weeks before Christmas, and the color will be purple. Now, Christmas Day, of course, that begins the, officially the 12 days of Christmas, uh, and then that ends uh, on January 5th, and then you get to Epiphany. Uh, so here's a question for you to think about. Why would the church use colors to tell time? Why did this tradition of having these different colors for different seasons become so important? I want you to think about that. Get back to me. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.